What's up, Aries? This is Soul, and Aries, we're going to look at your week ahead starting March 25th, uh, 2024. And this week, Aries, I am using uh, a new deck that I received. It's called the Ether Tarot. It's a different kind of deck. Um, creator was Anna Vrshachska. I hope I'm pronouncing that name right. Anyway, I'm not going to be reading any uh, reversals, uh, but before I begin... I just want to let you guys know there was another winner that was selected uh, from the Zodiac sign Libra. And it appears that, um, you know, Libra and Sagittarius are the two Zodiac signs that throw in the most comments. Now, they're not, the, you know, uh, necessarily my strongest supporter. So I, I just want to make that known. But they seem to be the ones who throw in the comments. So just throw your comments in. Um... You know, whether you, uh, you know, like the video, just thanking me or whatever, or you hate the video, just throw a comment in. Uh, it's already too late for me to put together a package for uh, the Zodiac sign who throws in the most comments for Easter. And by the way, happy Easter to all the Aries out there who celebrate Easter. But I am going to be continuing to give out weekly, um, you know, gifts to the uh, Zodiac sign that has the most comments. And then also, too, um, Mother's Day. I will be giving away a Mother's Day basket full of gifts and goodies. So just throw your comments in there, please. Anyway, um, what else do I have to say? Did I wish you guys a happy birthday for those who are celebrating your birthday this week to all the Aries out there? Um, no reversals here. And I'm also going to be throwing some cards here from, because I know a couple people, uh, you know, every now and then they come in and, oh, I wish the readings would be longer. You know, I don't have all day to sit up here and do readings. I just try to, you know, give you the best information in the shortest way possible. So I will be throwing some energies here from, uh, the Rebel deck. I used to use that deck, uh, a year or so ago. And there's just going to be some messages on the deck that could be uh, related to your current reading or however you want to use the, um, you know, messages. I haven't decided yet as to how many cards I'm going to throw, but they're very straightforward, okay? <laughs> so, let's begin. What's the energy for, uh, um, yeah, my, my Rams, Aries, for this week ahead? Show Aries what they need to know. It's birthday energies for Aries, so usually I... Say or have said in the past that usually when your birthday returns around the period of your birth, it's usually pretty good. So let's see if it is consistent. Energies for Aries here. Yeah, so I had a winner from um, Libra. Uh, Sagittarius also had some uh, comments, but I don't count multiple comments from the same person. Uh, so that eliminated them, and then Libra came in second, well, first place. So I selected a winner from Libra, <clears throat> who had the most comments this week. Anyway, what's coming towards Aries, what's coming towards Rams, what does Aries need to see, what they need to know, what they need to do, what they need not to do, energies for Aries. All right, Aries, let's begin to see what's going on here for you this week. And we have the Two of Swords. Two of Swords here is always the type of energy where you may feel, you know, a minor conflict, feeling like you're at a crossroads. It's my same-sex loving energy no matter what deck I'm using. Uh, having to make a choice and narrow that choice down to one Aries. Um, but I also say that you could be out and about where you're traveling and then there's some sort of uh, construction and you have to get rerouted or detoured to go another way. All right, so you have to make a choice now down to one with the Two of Swords. Following the Two of Swords, we have the High Priestess here. The High Priestess is always about uh, intuition, paying attention to your intuition, trusting the process. Now, I did have somebody who wrote in and said that, you know, hearing voices is crazy talk. No, it's not. We all have inner voices. So if you don't pay attention to it or you just totally disregard it that's on you but we do all have an inner voice so that is usually your personal energy is trying to you know grab your attention so that you can make uh you know correct decisions and choices moving forward um following the two of swords that might be something you know specific for some areas here where you have to trust the process and narrowing your choice down to one if there's two choices to make uh secrets and um 
Yeah, secrets are being held or kept by you or it's being kept by others towards you. Likes and crushes, I always say, come out through um, the high priestess. It does represent relationships, opposites attract. So that is the high priestess. But most important, Aries, uh, to get out of this high priestess is to trust your intuition this week. Okay. Following the two of swords, now we have the page of pentacles. Page of pentacles, of course, is the a starting of something new, which could be a new job. It could be a new business. It could be a birth of a business. It could be a contract. And um, that's what we have, the Page of Pentacles. Following the Page of Pentacles, we have the Eight of Wands. Eight of Wands is always, and you're part of this energy here, something that comes in very, very fast that usually puts a, a smile on your face because it's usually the type of energy that has some sort of good news. Equal number of wands, so it's a card of communication for me. So what you need to express this week to others will be well received. The information that comes towards you Aries will be well received by you. Usually with the eight of wands present in your spread, there is nothing that's going on communication wise that should be misunderstood or misconstrued. A lot of texting I get uh, through the uh, energy of the eight of wands, but the good news could come through for you via a phone call. It could be coming, you know, it could come from hard copy mail, texting. I always get a lot of texting with that. And also too, if you guys are traveling this week, and of course this is Easter weekend, so well, Easter week. Some of you may be, you know, traveling to visit family members or family members coming to travel to visit you. So vacationing, work related matters, you're going to be safe to and from. Following the Eight of Wands, now we have the Five of Swords. Five of Swords is where you have to sort some energy out. It could be uh, internal, external, and trying to, um, you know, put that energy in its place. Also, it mirrors over here to the Two of Swords, so that could be just, you know, further reduction as being seen as to, you know, just because I lay these cards out in sequential order doesn't necessarily mean that they may appear to occur that way for you. So you can look at the two of swords or pardon me, you can look at the five of swords and then just say that if you had some things to sort out here, you'd have narrowed it down to two, but you still got to narrow it down to one. So also I always um, tell you guys about the five of swords where it comes to, you have to be careful of uh, people playing mind games and head games with you. It mirrors over here to the actual page of Pentacles, so that could be co-workers that are just messing with your head or just playing some sort of games or anything. Also, too, it could be um, some sort of envy coming in from other people for something that you have. All right, that's the uh, Five of uh, Swords. King of Pentacles here is the money card, one of the money cards. Anyway, so this is promotions. This is the boss in the workplace environment. Um, still, we're in this period where, you know, a lot of people have may have filed for their taxes, waiting for their income tax returns. Well, you may receive that energy uh, this week. This is money coming in. Um, it could be creditors. It could be starting a business or you're already in a business. Money and, re you know, resources becoming more available to you. When it comes to love and romance, though, however, this is a court card that could come through. Uh, they don't necessarily have to be a um, earth sign, Taurus, Cap yeah, Capricorn, or Virgo, but they could very well be. These people generally are, in you know, independent. They're uh, dependable. Um, they're good money handlers. They're doing something very lucrative. They may be running their own business, uh, entrepreneurs. Um, but doing something very serious uh, in the line of work or career that they have chosen. Uh, someone that you can depend on, rely on, never coming across as ever being selfish or stingy, always liking the finer things in life, good nurturers too. Uh, so they always like to share that energy that they have accumulated on their own with others. All right, following the King of Pentacles, now we have the Eight of Pentacles. Again, the money is still looking very good here for you, um, Aries, so eight of pentacles is an even number of pentacles, so some of you may be just paying attention to the details of your work. It still will come in through um, promotions or pay raises, bonus money. Um, it could be a balanced energy in other areas of your life as well. Okay, money feeling and looking very strong here. Following that, now we have the six of cups going down memory lane, thinking of childhood memory, someone that you were linked with. Uh, possibly from your past, could be family, could be friends, it could be somebody you were linked with romantically. 
these energies are thinking of you and they may uh, reach out to you this week in terms of expressing themselves. Um, equal number of cups, so energy that they give is what you're going to receive back. Um, also, too, you could be just memorializing someone that you were once close to. Um, for some, it could be a co-worker. Uh, sitting underneath that page of Pentacles, it could be a co-worker. And any um, significant dates, March 25th throughout, I think the ending of this period is the 31st on Easter, uh, it could be anything involving their birth date or their passing date or some other date that's significant uh, in making a connection to you. Okay, so you may be more moralizing somebody who is now over in spirit, um, but it's all good. Okay, Six of Cups here. Next up, we have the Ace of Pentacles. Again, Aries, the money. So like the Page of Pentacles, this is a job offer, contract offer. This is, however, the infinite amount of money that you can earn or receive. This is starting new businesses, investments, savings, and so forth. Ace of Pentacles. Following the Ace of Pentacles, now we have the Queen of Swords. Queen of Swords is um, something that you're about to do uh, majorly, okay? It has something to do with an action, something that you're going to take care of this week. Uh, this is a card that represents communication, collecting uh, information, data, facts. You want to be clear. Uh, it's a lot of certainty you hear with this card and also, too, a lot of determination. We just have to be careful, though. The Queen of Swords has a tendency to either uh, be the receptor of gossip or they become the gossipers. So, so you be careful with that. All right, so this is what I have for you this week, uh, Aries. It's not too bad. Like I said before, for some of you, the money is looking real, real strong. Um, could be involving anything uh, related to your income tax refunds if you are expecting a refund. Uh, promotions, pay raises, bonus money coming through. All right, so this uh, deck here, let me make sure I clear out the cards that I don't need, which I should have done before I started recording, but it's all good, right? <laughs> Shit. <laughs> anyway. So you can take these messages however you want. And I just really noticed that there are messages on both sides. Wow. Did I not know that before? Okay, so what we'll do is we'll select some cards here. Like I said before, I don't know how many cards I'm going to select, but I'll read both sides of these cards. Since both sides of the cards have information. Alright, so what's the additional information here for Aries? Excuse me. Oops. Won't count that. All right, so the first card here is, uh, what the hell are you waiting for? Get that shit done. On the side, it says, uh, if you are waiting for a sign, well, here it fucking is, okay? <laughs> so, <laughs> this is the Rebel deck. I told you, holds, uh, it comes at you. Um, very straightforward in terms of the messages and stuff. So you guys can use the messages however you want. The next one up here for you, Aries, is you are giving too many fucks. On the reverse size, it says give zero. Okay, that's important. Maybe important. The next card here for you is ask a fucking expert. On the side, it says don't rely on your friends or the internet. Listen to a damn professional. All right, so how many cards do I want to pull? I'll pull one more. Next uh, message is uh, stop sleeping so damn much. Wake up, you are missing some, some cool shit. All right, so this is what I have for you this week, Aries. Okay, thank you for your patience while I <laughs> try to get these messages out here to you. Anyway, uh, please like the video, comment, of course, throw those comments in there, share the video if you can, subscribe to my channel. You guys have a very safe, uh, great week ahead. Enjoy your birthdays. For those who are celebrating, happy Easter to all. And uh, come back here and get more of these beautiful messages. Remember to keep smiling, though, when you come back. And I'll talk to you later. Bye.